Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Simpio Harrison Mkize and welcome to Moments with Harrison. First of all, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to everybody that keeps watching my videos. Thank you for liking, thank you for commenting, and then thank you for subscribing. Like, I feel like, guys, the people that subscribe, you guys are the real MVPs. This looks like a P, right? Yeah, it is a P. Listen, we haven't been together in exactly like two weeks, and I say together because, like, guys, I mean, like, I genuinely like you guys so much. Um, but we obviously haven't had time to be together because I haven't been making videos. Again, I want to say I'm not making excuses, but I have another life that I'm running co concurrently with this YouTube life. Concurrently, because you're on YouTube. But anyway, I have another life that I'm running concurrently with this YouTube life where I have to make videos. And I promised you guys that I'd make you guys a video once a week or once a month. G just. So this is officially going to be my February video. If we're lucky, we might get another one in Feb if we get inspiration. And if we don't, then we don't. We'll just get one more in March. The aim and the target is simply just 12 videos for the year. Yeah, but I don't necessarily want to push myself. So it's just 12 videos for the year and this is the year. This is the video for Feb. So let us get into it. It is the month of love because it's February. And uh, just a couple of days ago, we were celebrating Valentine's Day. And I am literally going to make this video to be about Valentine's Day because one, Valentine's Day is all about couples and it's all about love. And I realized that one of my strongest things in life is relationships with people, with money, with cars, with houses, with colleagues, people. Yeah, yeah. Very good with relationships. And literally, Valentine's Day is all about couples. Valentine's Day is all about love. I love, love, hopeless romantic. Um, so yeah, and uh, what I'll do is is that this is going to be a Q and A, a Valentine's Day edition. So welcome to the Q, oh, the Q and A, the Valentine's Day edition. This is so funny because <laughs> anyway, I wonder what you did for Valentine's Day. Comment on the comment section below, right there. Yeah, just below comment section or. Oh subscribe at the top or something i don't know i don't know listen subscribe comment tell me what how was your valentine's day and what did you do for your valentine's day i saw some really really cool sort of valentine's day promotion things where people were asking each other like what is the best valentine's day present you've ever received and what has been your worst valentine's day experience and i thought that was epic so i also want to know what did you do for valentine's day and how was it we're going to do a little q a and it starts now, so question number one, um, are you in a relationship? Where on earth? With who in the universe? No, me, no, 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 sorry. I'm not in a relationship. Um, I remember I was telling you guys, Jay, literally, I mean, two videos ago, um, I was telling you guys that I had found somebody and that we're so compatible for each other and that we're so in love and that do 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 That ship sailed That ship sailed Oh that ship sailed <laughs> Wow Wow um, Yeah no jokes guys Not in a relationship anymore It ended um, Because we were incompatible. It was just a Friday afternoon and I received a we're a not compatible text. This was after I, I really don't want to get into it, but like we were incompatible. That's what I was told. And it's funny because I came on YouTube and I made like an entire YouTube video of how we were so compatible and how we made sense. No, 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 no. Because I thought we were so different. We had come from two different worlds. I thought we'd find a way to make it merge and that we wouldn't have you know, the clashes that I normally have with people that are in my profession or people that do what I do, you know, gee, getting somebody. It's almost like getting a tennis player to date a, a, a rapper, Oguti. Such a different combination. You think they're going to work, but they actually didn't. Um, I think also more importantly is, I'm speaking about the breakup now because I'm answering the, are you in a relationship? Because I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I told you guys that I was in a relationship and now I'm not, so it's a little confusing, so I'm just explaining. 
Um, the relationship also didn't work because we connected, but we were not in sync. You know, we we connected on on a ha, huh, I like you. Hmm, I like you. But we were not in sync. Like we were not synergized. We were not. We were not moving in one direction. And the thing is, it takes a while for people to move in one direction in terms of a relationship. Um, I guess we just were not willing to stick it out. So I am not in a relationship. End of Q and A. Relationship <sighs> with. Mm. I'm in a relationship with my YouTube subscribers i'm in a relationship with my facebook friends i'm in a relationship with my instagram followers i'm in a relationship with my twitter followers i'm in a relationship with the children that i teach i'm in a relationship with my colleagues i'm in a relationship with my family i'm in a relationship with my friends i'm in a relationship with my boss i'm in a relationship with my other cast members i'm in a relationship with the world i'm in a relationship with nature I'm in a relationship with money. I'm in a relationship with my car. I'm in a relationship with my space. I'm in a relationship with my life. I'm in a relationship with God. I'm in a relationship with the Holy Spirit. I'm in a relationship with Jesus. I'm in a relationship. <laughs> Listen, um, yeah, no, I'm not in a relationship with anyone. Next question, when was your last relationship? Mm. Okay, it's a little tricky because. Okay, let me just say a month ago. Yeah, won't you? Get so funny. Kulum, a month ago. Um, yeah, it, it it's it's been a month ago. How many people have you dated? Um. Where? How many, as in like a number, or what do you say? I'm kidding. I have dated. I can safely say that I've dated three people. And I'm saying this because these are possibly the people that I've had the longest relationships with and these were the people where we moved past the honeymoon phase and we actually got into the real relationship and we started working on it and then maybe we found differences or whatever whatever happened because things happen in relationships so I've actually literally only dated three people and the next question is how many people have you loved I love everyone actually um i've loved everyone i think anybody that i've dated i've loved even if i didn't mention you in the three people like i, I definitely have connected with more than five people um in terms of relationships and such and, and almost dating but it's just that it never gets to that full on we're dating stage um or it's not it's it doesn't have enough weight for me to consider it to be i dated you i don't know if that makes sense so but in terms of loving i've loved i've loved i've loved i've really really loved i've loved people for two weeks and i felt like listen i really really loved this person i've loved people for six years i've loved people for two years i've loved people for three years so um how many people have i loved i think i've loved i love everyone everybody that i've ever had a thing with i i've definitely loved a break from that one because i'm thinking whoever's watching this is gonna think oh, so like you loved us the same i i want to clarify the levels of love are different but also i don't want to clarify i want to move on to the next question i want to get to the valentine's day questions i'm so tired i'm so tired i'm so tired of these questions man um next question is um what which one of your exes won't you ever get back with? Uh, all of them. I wouldn't get back with any of my exes. Okay, besides one that I really think like this one is end game. End game is just like end game. You know, at the end of it all, masag nyuka amagama kifuna ba ni wotu simpo ino sban ba ni je they are having kids now and whatever. Um, I, I sort of am there's one there's one ex that I have that I'm just keeping in a corner which has in you are my end game uh, because we're so close like we share so much in common we have so much in common and we share on each other's lives so much so definitely would get back with that one but not now 
Um, yeah, not 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 in the near future. Maybe five, six years from now, then maybe we can we can we could we could start thinking. But La Babanya, I simply wouldn't. Not because they're bad people, or because not because they're bad people, or because the relationship ended. But it's because I was right. You know, I don't like to prove myself wrong. So Shugen is Shugen for a reason. So Asperinis, thank you. Next question. Um. How old were you and where were you and with who was your first kiss? Hmm. How is this again linking to Valentine's Day? I'm just wondering. You guys are so weird. Like. Yeah. I think I was 11. I was in grade 7. Um, I was at school. Oh God, I was at school, and it was with a girl called Sese Tupako. Sese Tupako, very, very pretty. She was very pretty, and you can imagine that I'm just like I'm in primary school. I'm slowly but surely I'm becoming that guy that gets the prettiest girl in school because I'm the smartest guy in this place. I'm playing all the sports. I'm excelling culturally, academically. I am a ring of them. You know, I'm that guy. So I got the prettiest girl in the school, which is Sese Tupako. And uh, yeah, basically that was, I was 12 years old. I was in grade five, it was in school. And it was with a girl called Sese Tupako. Next question is um, the same question, but sex. Oh, cool. Um, so how old was I when I had sex? I think for the first time, I was 19. Um, it was with a girl called Notemba. Um, and we, it was my matric dance weekend. It was for the first time. Like, I had lied to my friends the whole time. Like, according to my friends, I'm not even going to lie. I had had sex, like, numerous times before the age of 19. Because you know how it is in the auctions, you got to lie. Um, but I actually did it for the first time when I was 19 years old in matric at my matric dance weekend um it could have been the it was definitely 2013 was definitely August I think it was the um when is when is there's a holiday I think it's Women's Day or something the 8th of August so somewhere around the 10th and the 8th yeah that's 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 when um yeah Next question, what is your body count? What's a body count? I don't know what that is. What's a body count? Love language. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I was actually thinking about this. My body, um, not my body language. My love language is, um, it changes. It changes with, it changes with who I'm with. Yeah, well, um, I don't have a fixed love language. I, I, I normally, look at the person that I'm with and then I, I appreciate the love that they give me and the way in which they give it to me at that point and then I work from there so I don't necessarily have a fixed love language but I definitely like words of affirmation like I feel like my person has to tell me Hori, listen bro I love you um, also um, not necessarily a gift person I think this generally comes from the fact that um, I can get myself gifts if I want them. So, but I can't love myself. So, 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 so just love me. Anyway, you know how. Yeah, I'm actually so hungry, guys. My tummy is just like rumbling. Next question. Okay, we've got like five more questions. Next question is Do you believe in marriage? Yes, 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 yes. Listen, I am a hardcore, diehard believer. I believe in marriage. I think people should get married. I think people should have kids. I believe in family. Yo, I can already imagine me and my little kids and like my partner and like we've got kids and they're running around the house and they're fighting over toys and we're sending them to school to soccer practice to music practice to whatever, whatever. I love family. Um, I am a heart like I believe in marriage. I believe, yeah, I do believe in marriage. Um, I think marriage is is a decision more more than anything. I think I think people get married for different reasons, but I obviously don't want to get into that because I've never been married. So anxiety is attached to some papa, no mind. But I think there are reasons. So yeah, basically, I believe in marriage. The last segment of the show, and I just literally have like five more questions, and then it's bon voyage. So let's get into it. Um, the next question says, who is your ideal partner? 
Mm, guys, I don't have an ideal partner. Like, I don't have a who as such because I feel like a who would answer to a name. I kind of don't have a name. I don't think... I don't think... Yeah, no, 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 I don't. Um, definitely do have a set of characteristics and definitely a set of patterns that I'm looking for. So basically, like, just somebody who is a communicator, somebody who is self-actualized, somebody who has their own, somebody who is financially smart, somebody who is educated, somebody who is um, Christian. Okay, not necessarily Christian, but somebody who believes in, in, in something. Um, somebody who's family, family oriented. Um, somebody who is ambitious. I love ambition. Ambition is cute. It's the cutest thing you could ever have. Somebody who takes care of the body. Somebody who brushes their teeth. I imagine, I think I think that's it. Like somebody who's honest, somebody who's got a set of values. And I most definitely think that it is somebody who matches my um my mantra or my life philosophy or my mission statement. My mission statement is I want to lead a print oh this is the vision. A principle centered, purpose driven life. Anybody who leads a principle centered, purpose driven life, you are my ideal partner. Come get it. <laughs> all right um next question is what did you do for valentine's day yes we finally get to the valentine's day questions of the valentine's day edition question and answer session i feel like you guys asked me a lot of personal questions and you just asked me valentine's questions sissy vala which is so dodgy so dodgy okay so dodgy so what did you do for valentine's day what did i do for valentine's day i had rehearsal um i had rehearsal and performing tonight at six I got him almost late. Okay, so I'm performing tonight at six. So I was rehearsing for Valentine's Day, and then I went to the beach. If you keep up with me on Instagram, I think I'm Sir underscore Harrison, or I could have changed it to Simple Harrison and Kiza between the two. Um, I was just at the beach alone with the ocean. I love the ocean, literally love it. Because after my rehearsal, I just went to the beach. And I was just connecting, you know, with God and I, I I felt like that was very important for me to do. I was just at the ocean for Valentine's Day. Literally, that's what I did. Then I came back home and uh, yeah, and then I did some work and I slept. Nobody wished me happy Valentine's Day. Not that I needed it, but Jim, that's what I did. Um, was it your perfect? Oh, no, no, it wasn't. I'm such a, I'm not even gonna lie, like, I'm literally not gonna lie. I'm geek or righty, genlela, e valentine, yam, in, zerangai. I had hoped that around this time I'd have a partner that I can obviously celebrate my Valentine's Day with. I'm thinking candlelit dinner. I'm thinking a candlelit dinner under the skies with the stars watching and like the tablecloth water falling all over with like roses and like a little three man band with a personal chef. You know, the works. But uh, obviously, it didn't happen. It definitely was not my ideal Valentine's Day. Um, yeah, no, it, it, it wasn't my perfect. So, was this your perfect Valentine's Day? No, this was not my perfect Valentine's Day. But, tell you what, it was what I had to work with and I did the best with that I had. And tell you more, the best is still yet to come. So, if you are out there somewhere, won't you come to me? All right, next question. Is love, money, or fame? What a, what a, what a, guys, my nose. What a good question. Love, money, or fame? Um, mm, money? Yeah, money, 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 Papa. Money, give me money, money. Take your love, take your thing. Give me money, give me money. Because the thing is, people think that when we answer this question, like for me, when when we say money, that we're excluding the love and the fame. Ugh, dude, honestly, to God, J, if I had the money to be in Paris right now I'd be in Paris definitely would take somebody with it doesn't have to be a lover you know what I mean because like it doesn't have to be a lover it could be a family member and we still have fun 
you can you can take you can remove but as long as like money oh money baba money money i'm not a money person but like money is important to me yeah well love is also important but i think not a lot of people understand what love is in terms romantically so i would rather love my family naturally that's gonna happen or my friends or anybody else but like in terms of love no thanks love exclusively love relationship no thanks bye fame um unfortunately fame that doesn't pay the bills um i could name famous people that Morni Kheltni, Morni Surviving, Mar, the fame, et the blow, and also email. So, don't really, really want to expose myself for free. No, thanks, though. All right. Next question is What's your body count? No. I really, I, 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 I don't know what a body count is. And on that note, thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode of Moments with Harrison. I think I'm going to do more question and answer sessions because I really, really enjoyed this one. Um, and then, yeah, that's it. See you again. Same time, same place. Ritao Kompana. Oh my God, that sounds so stupid. Ritao Kompana. What is that? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys again next week when we um, obviously have another show. That's if we have content. You guys finding content is so hard. Anyway, let me go and get ready. I have a class. See you later. <laughs>